Hello and welcome back to Technic Tutorials, your one-stop guide to learning the Technic Pack. I am Gary Reaver. This time I'm showing you something from the Buildcraft mod. This is the Mining Well. For this you will need 39 ingots, 1 redstone, uh, 6 twigs, sticks, uh, 4 cobblestone. So first of all you need to make a, a wooden gear then a stone gear, and then an iron gear, and then an ordinary iron pickaxe, and here you have all the stuff you need to put it together. So you put the iron pickaxe at the bottom with the gear in the middle, and the redstone at the top, and then surround it by iron. And you have a mining well. And the mining well has to be powered. So I'll just plonk it down there. And then put them around it, and you power it with a redstone current, as I showed you in the buildcraft pipes. And this will start to dig. Unfortunately, two engines aren't really enough to power it at full speed. I think you need about four. But it, it will do when it gets started. As you can see, it is slowly digging down with this strange pipe which is destroyed with a single hit and it does drop the pipe. It, it has no use, absolutely no use at all. I, I added a couple more engines because it was going so slowly and this is uh, a form of engine daisy chaining. The, the second engine increases the power of the first engine which then powers the machine and when the engines get more powerful when that goes up to flashing red then the mining pipe will be going at maximum speed. What the mining world will do is it will dig down in a straight line until it hits either bedrock or lava at which point it will stop and the engines will keep running until they're turned off but, the mine, but it will not mine anymore. I've put a chest here because if there's no connected chest drop things just pop out of the top and can fall into the side, can even fall back into the hole if you're unlucky. So it's best to have a chest either directly connected, so anywhere connected to it, or by pipes as you can see there. Mining pipes aren't at all efficient, although they can reasonably be powered by redstone engines, they still dig a single column down. So no matter what you find, you have no way to know how far down it is, so you can't go and find, say, the rest of the diamonds or other things in a vein. So not many people actually use mining wells, realistically. The one exception was somebody who had a row of them, and then each time they'd finished, he'd move them one row further. So they'd be strip mining, five blocks across at a time and even that wasn't particularly efficient it was much more efficient when you upgraded it to a quarry it's my advice that you completely skip over the mining well it digs slowly it digs one column down and it leaves a very ugly mining pipe going all the way down to bedrock there's no massive advantage of it over alternatives such as the mass digging quarry. Thank you for watching. If you have any requests about what you want me to have a look at next, please leave them in a comment or YouTube mail and I shall do my best to have a look. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.